In this video, we're going to do some extension questions on the rules of indices. We're asked to simplify a and b. So let's start with a. In the numerator, we've got x plus 1. In the denominator, we've got x to the half plus x to the minus 1 half. I could use a couple of different approaches with this. And the first method I could use is to factor the denominator. So we've got the numerator, which is x plus 1. And then I'm going to factor the denominator. The highest common factor of x to the half and x to the minus 1 half is x to the power of minus 1 half. So taking out the common factor, we now set up the brackets. What do I need to multiply x to the minus 1 half by to get x to the half? The answer is x to the first, or just x. Consider the rules of indices. x to the power of minus 1 half multiplied by x to the power of 1. We add the powers, that will give me x to the power of 1 half. Alternatively, you could say to yourself, what is x to the half divided by x to the minus 1 half? So if you want to look at it that way, what is x to the half divided by x to the power of minus 1 half? We're going to be dividing, so we subtract the powers. 1 half minus minus 1 half, that gives us x to the first. So we have x. Then I say to myself, what do I multiply x to the minus 1 half by to get positive x to the minus 1 half? The answer is just plus 1. We can see now that these factors cancel. So we have 1 over x to the minus 1 half. This is 1 over 1 over x to the half, which will give us now x to the half. If we just consider a to the power of minus m, that is 1 over a to the power of m. Therefore, if I have now 1 over a to the power of minus m, this is going to be a to the power of positive m. And that's exactly what I've used just here. That's the first approach. The second approach is to rewrite the fraction and multiply through by x to the half. So if we look at that approach, I've got x plus 1 in the numerator. I've got x to the 1 half plus, and rewriting the negative power as 1 over x to the positive 1 half. I'm going to multiply through the entire fraction by x to the power of 1 half. If I do that in the numerator, I will have x to the 1 half multiplied by x plus 1. In the denominator, if I multiply x to the half by x to the half, I'll get x to the power of 1. If I multiply 1 over x to the half by x to the half, I'm just going to have 1. We end up now with the linear factors of x plus 1 cancelling, and we end up now with x to the half. So either way round, we've now found that the answer, fully simplified, is x to the 1 half. OK, let's look at the next one. So with this one, again, we could factor or we could just rewrite this as a positive power, 1 over a positive power. Let's look at factoring, taking the highest common factor out of the numerator and the highest common factor out of the denominator. So in the numerator, we have 2t cubed minus 4t. In the denominator, t to the power of 3 over 2 minus 2t to the minus 1 half. Highest common factor of the numerator will be 2t. That will leave me t squared minus 2. In the denominator, I'm going to take out the highest common factor. The highest common factor is t to the power of minus 1 half. What do I need to multiply t to the minus half to get t to the 3 over 2? The answer is t squared. If we multiply these, we will get t to the 1.5 or 3 over 2. Minus now, what do I need to multiply t to the minus half to get 2t to the minus half or minus 2t to the minus half? It's minus 2. We can see that these cancel. So what we have now is 2t over t to the minus 1 half. Using the rules of indices here, we've got t to the first divided by now t to the minus 1 half. So we're going to have now 1 minus minus 1 half, which will give us t to the 3 over 2. So we can say now in simplified form, this is 2t to the power of 3 over 2 as, again, we have a negative power in the denominator. An alternative approach would be 2t cubed minus 4t, and then we'd have t to the 3 over 2 minus, and then we're going to have 2 over t to the 1 half. At this stage, what I'm going to do now is simply factor the numerator and multiply through. So we're going to multiply through now by t to the 1 half. 
Just considering now the factored numerator, we have 2t and then we'll have now t squared minus 2. And just writing now t to the 3 over 2 minus now 2 over, and then we're going to have t to the 1 half. I'm going to multiply now by t to the 1 half. So that's going to give me 2, and then we'll have t. If I multiply this now by t to the half, that will give me 3 over 2. Then we'll have t squared minus 2. If I multiply this now by t to the half, I'm going to get t squared. If I multiply this by t to the half, I'm going to get now the minus 2. We can see at this stage now the t squared minus 2's cancel, and we can write this as 2t to the 3 over 2. So two different approaches now. All I've done is rewritten and multiply through. Factoring might make it a little easier here, um, or you could factor the first way. So a couple of extension questions on the rules of indices.